We are back with In Your City show, and we have Sarah Gedalia, and I've just learned how to say her name properly, and great. it sounds so much better than the way <laughs> I've been doing it. So I'll just keep going, Gedalia. She's the CEO and founder of Top Notch Brands, and this woman right here is a dynamo, a little spitfire, but I call her sunshine, because when she Aww. walks in, she's just like a ray of sunshine wow, that comes in. Wow, the two of you together, that's a lot of sunshine. <laughs> Thank you. You are. You no, are. you are. You no, know, Oh, wow, they did this earlier. No, you. We're no. going to do this the whole segment. You know, it's so, we should have set our alarm when we had, when we met, because we would have never stopped talking. We were that's that's probably a good through. thing with Gil. <laughs> yeah. You, but I told him that you taught me a new thing because it's such a great idea because you can just go on and on and on and before you know it, you're late to your next meeting or what you have to do. So yeah. you gave me a little and, nugget to take with me to kind of yes. keep myself at bay. And it's good to pick up your kids. I heard that's a good thing to do as a yeah, mother. Yeah, to not, to, yeah, to not. So, that that little alarm. thing in that Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's well, welcome to, to the here. show. So tell us what Top Notch Brands are about. I mean, yeah. I know what you're about and you are taking companies to another level. Oh, so tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so Top Notch Brand Company, we're a full service creative agency. We're just really focused on encouraging, inspiring and improving the world. So everything we talk about is to shine light and to shine a spotlight on brands that are doing that, that are inspiring, encouraging, improving the world. So like getting to connect with you all is perfect because that's what you're doing. The guests that you guys have on that you're encouraging and you're getting their name out so that they can, you know, raise support for the amazing organizations they are. So that's kind of what I do. We do um, full campaigns, you know, from ideation all the way through execution. So you know, lots of marketing, lots of PR, lots of uh, big events. And so that kind of comes out of, um, I've been running agencies for about 10 years now that I've started and, um, but have been in, you know, TV and marketing for almost 20, 24 years. Weren't you I was an just anchor gonna ask how you got started. Oh, I wasn't yeah. quite an anchor, but I started at an ABC station mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna tell anybody what I made, but you know, do not despise <laughs> humble beginnings. <laughs> You know, and so, and then I also worked in radio, you know, for some big, some big stations and um, worked for Warner Brothers and really enjoyed, you know, enjoyed doing that. I moved from the talent side onto the producer side. I just really loved the creative aspect, was helping create a reality show when that was new, okay. like back in the day. And um, there was just a point in my life where I thought, you know what, I want to be part of you know, marketing the most inspiring thing that I possibly can. And I ended up moving into uh, international Christian media. And so I've really focused in on that area, kind of Christian ministries and organizations or businesses that have that positive message, like Good News Brewing, for example. Um, so I have been in that particular space for probably since 2005. So, um, so yeah, that's what a great what space to be in. While your husband, he was a mm -hmm. uh, uh, band. Uh, yes. Singing, uh, so did he play the guitar and sing? What did he? So do? he, yeah. So, so I met you him. Got to meet. Yeah, I met him in college. I met him at Campus Fellowship. He was the hot drummer. Hot drummer. Um, and I got him because he was younger than me. All the girls were going for him, but I was two years older, so I had an Work edge. for the older woman. Yes, and I also bought a cat. I didn't like cats, but I bought a cat because okay, I had that's an weird. apartment. He had the dorms and I knew this man that was like a caveman and wouldn't talk would actually talk and ask me out if he could come over and see a cat. Oh and so we're gosh, married 21 a, years later. It she worked. She doesn't like cats, but she got a cat, got to, a cat to get just, her man. I did. Wow. My husband or my, my son, my 14 year old son says I have Riz. <laughs> So there you go. So anyways, but Justin Eddie is Murphy a drummer. Eddie Murphy says to put a pot on the, the isn't it? The, Chris, no, Chris Rock, Rock says put a pot on the put stove. Put a pot on the stove and a, and a, a man will be knocking at your door in two minutes. <laughs> but she in doesn't want case, me to cook. He doesn't want me to cook. a cat. <laughs> so, but he is. He's a drummer and he's with a group called Stickyard. You take out the C. And they tour, they play for, you know, he plays for 30,000 people. He's played with, wow. you know, um, fun Charlie Daniels, you know, Martina McBride, yeah, Grand Ole awesome. Opry, up through um, being down at mega churches. So he he tours quite a bit and Fantastic. he's very talented. Yes, yeah. uh, it sounds like it. You both are very talented. And one of the events that I just had the privilege of being able to go to, thank you to you. Um, and you also wrote the story that um, it's in this magazine, isn't yes. it? The Thankful Edition. So. Um, um, the Rooted Sisters. Yes. So you're part of this, and here is um, uh, and the story. Cindy. Lisa Nichols and and Cindy. Um, this is an organization that started. Did it start when 
2020? Or so has it been going for a while? It's been going on for a while, probably eight years. And so let me tell you, and they Sarah were- And this story. Well, I was honored that you included me. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> so Cindy and Lisa, they are just like two awesome CEOs, female CEOs. They met in a CEO forum for, um, yeah, just female CEOs. And they both found out that they, you know, shared the same faith. And so they said, hey, we want to start, you know, we want to start attending a CEO forum for Christian women. Well, they couldn't find one. And so eight years ago, they said, well, then let's make one because these are two high powered women. Lisa owns Technology Partners. Uh, Cindy was running American Red Cross. And so eight years ago, they started it. And it is just an amazing organization. It focuses on, first of all, just creating a network and a community for women in business where they can study the word of God, which is the Bible. They can grow in their faith and then they can, you know, be in connection with one another, which helps them be the kind of leaders that right. they were created to be. And so there's uh, Bible studies twice a month. We have hubs all over St. Louis. And then we have people joining us, female leaders joining us online from all over the world. And then um, what we got to attend last week is we have two annual events, really big events that are super cool. Last week we had uh, Christian Business Women's Breakfast. That was the sixth annual Christian Business Women's Breakfast. And we had so um, 700 women. Yeah, yeah, it was like, it was Incredible. so much fun. And we had, um, so Emily Chang, who, you Can know, was the former. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I have about. her book, I'm reading her book. I'm the halfway spare through it right now. The Spare Room, I was telling them yeah. all about The Spare Room. Yes. But you know, finding, it was all about finding your talent. Yes. And you know, what is that hidden talent? And, and it was just like, um, what a uh, Steve Harvey, there was, he pulled him. up a video right after that event and it was it talking about, my phone. Yeah, yeah, and he's, he's talking about, I don't care if it's uh, art, if it's collecting trash, if it's whatever it is, we all have a talent, yes. you know, that God's given and us. do your a, talent so when you wake up in the morning, you enjoy getting up yeah, because it's what you want. It's not work. He said yeah. it's not work, right? Right. And, and Emily was, Emily was amazing and just, yes. she really has so much resonated and just, you know, fell on your heart and made you think about things. And we've been talking a lot since that, you know, of following our heart and what, what is that, you know? Yes, um, yes. It, it won't pay the bills right now exactly, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, when we obey him though, he finds a way to. You know what, that's sure so good. true. Cause you talked about, you just said about Lisa Nichols and talking about how they wanted to find a way that they could take the greatness that God has given them. And I love Les Brown talks about that. He says, we're yeah. all been, God has instilled greatness within each and every single one of us. Yes. And it's for us, uh, up to us to find that and use that potential, mm -hmm. you know? So I love that because it's, it's just- It's stewardship, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, like just like we would steward money or resources, I feel like the talents God's given us and woven into us is the He didn't the create us to not do anything. Right, why are we here right. if we're exactly. just being lazy yeah. and complacent, <laughs> you know? And sometimes I have to remind myself of that. Yeah. yeah go do something, right. you know, use your talents for God. Cause we really won't be settled until we do. At least right. that's what I believe. And so I look at you all, I'm sitting over there as you're doing your last segment. And I'm like, wow, look what God did. This crisis nursery is gonna get support now and more women are gonna be helped yep. because okay. you're yep. giving them your talent. And so it just really inspires me. And so Lisa introduced us. And, yes. and from the moment I met you over the phone, it was like, whoa, we <laughs> we're like sisters already. It's just the coolest No, you thing. are, no, you are. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, oh, you can be a, a rooted brother. It was, <laughs> it was, and actually that's what he is. That's his, something's calling him I to I am more of a chick sometimes. Yeah, yeah he fit that. right, he fit, fit right, right in. in. But I, I did get to, you know, Liz, I went to her house afterwards and yes. um, there were just, I told him, I said, I had a lot to do that day but something told me that I needed to keep surrounding myself with brilliant women mm. that would, you know, positively impact my day, maybe the rest of my life. So um, mm. I'm glad that I did. And, you know, it's just been a blessing meeting you. So if someone's out there that has a mission um, where they're looking to elevate their brand right. um, and create um, the positivity and the productivity that you can add to what they do, what would they need to do? Sure, well, first of all, I'll say one last thing. Yes, they should go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on there now. The root of yeah, He gave us have... the fingers. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the fingers. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think um, the easiest thing you could probably do is just go to Instagram and go to Top Notch Brand Company. Um, and then also go to the Rooted Sisters official on Instagram or the rootedsisters.com to get, yeah, to get connected, to be inspired. And so, 
Um, it's it's been a blessing to be here with you. Thank you for inviting oh, me. Oh, you're just a, appreciate I, you. I just call her a ray of sunshine. Yeah. You just you bring sunshine to everything you do. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for coming here. Thank you for Thank introducing you. me to the Rooted Sisters. I look forward to all that I'll be able to do with that. And then yes. you know your company, seeing what you're doing and and elevating brands the way you do is just incredible. And we are so thankful for you Thank and you. all that you do for our cities, our communities. Um, we really want people to reach out, find out more about the Rooted Sisters if it resonates with their soul and then of course top notch brand company is absolutely incredible at elevating brands so thank you so much for being here if you want to find out more about sarah godalian please she is the ceo and founder of top notch brands top notch brands company.com is where you can go and find out all that you need and then of course look up rooted sisters you can check out her instagram and the minute you do you'll know why we love her so much because you just thank you burst energy and i love you guys this is great <laughs> no, wait, i so love you here. let's do the sunshine, we'll the sunshine. <laughs> have a great time <laughs> thank you so much